Scott here. In this training session, we're going to review how to use the uh, user control panel. The first step we need to do is to log into the user control panel in your favorite web browser. So the first thing we do is open a browser, and then we're going to enter in the URL for your company. Now remember that that address or URL is the one that was assigned to you by your VoIP provider. Once you have that entered in, go ahead and uh, navigate to that. You'll see the screen and then click on the user control panel icon. The login is your phone uh, extension number and the password will be the same password that you use to retrieve your voicemail. Once you have those entered in, go ahead and just click the submit button. When the user portal opens up, you'll see a menu on the left hand side of the screen. First let's uh, select call monitor from the menu. Your screen will now show you the uh, record of all your calls and recordings. Now let's click on voicemail on the menu. Now you will uh, see all of your voicemails. You can browse through those and uh, see which one you want to listen to. Uh, if you want to listen to a voicemail, you can just click on the speaker icon. Uh, the other thing you can do is download the voicemail by clicking on the download icon. Uh, then you can save that voicemail to your desktop or a temporary place to use later. Next, let's click on Feature Codes in the menu. And then you'll see a list of the most common feature codes that you can use on the phone system. Now let's click on Settings on the menu. Here you can change your voicemail password that's required to retrieve voicemail. And you can also change the email address that your voicemails will be emailed to. Now I recommend that you don't change these settings without help from the service provider. Uh, that way you won't lose access to your voicemail. Okay, that concludes the training on the user control panel. Thanks for your attention.